welcome back Autobots and Decepticons to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you Transformer Studio Series Voyager Class Shockwave from the Bumblebee movie. But before we begin don't forget to like and subscribe to the notification so you never miss an upload. Thumbs up if you enjoy. So with that all out of the way, let's begin. Our always have the pack team here is. It's a nice image of Shockwave. There, see Transformers Series of Shockwave. Transformers, inside a box, nice image of Shockwave, opposite side of the box, nice image of Shockwave, and on the back of the box, see them both in the mode and in Cybertron tank mode. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the packaging. So here we have Shockwave, and he is a really decent figure. Yeah, so it's a close look. Details, see, very nice tank. Cybertron, Cybertron, Cybertronian tank mode. Yeah, see, very nice details. You can see nice, um, dark brushing effect right there, both sides. See, the chest with some nice dry brushing. Underneath, yeah, oh, very nice looking. Gun, yeah, it's a very nice looking tank mode. It rolls really good, helps because you to use rolls in there, so allow it to roll. Yeah, and it does have quite a little bit of art to personalize. The turret can move. Back that far, can uh, that far, but let's do the pose. And this part can look up. Yeah. And it, it can go down on that hinge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty much it to talk about. So now let's get down to side to person. So here he is. And here he is. Next to my previous view, the uh, Legacy United Optimus Prime from the animated universe. And here's next to Studio Series Soundwave from the Bumblebee movie. There he is next to Starscream from the Bumblebee movie. There he is next to Megatron. From the Bumblebee movie. And last but not least, here he is next to the core class version. And as you can see, Voyager is basically an upscale version of him. But minus the whole hosing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? Pretty much exactly the same. Besides the paint, see this has lighter gray, while here it's a much darker gray. Yeah. Now, even though on camera it does show it, it looks like black, but it's a it's a dark gray. Yeah. But anyways, that is it. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. To talk about. So now let's get down to transformation. And the transformation on this thing, on him, is basically exactly the same as the core class version. Besides like one, uh, one or two steps, ups that are added on here, but like I said, pretty much exactly the same. So you, you know how to transform core class properly, you basically know how to transform him. So anyways, let's begin. So first thing you want to do is come up here, let's have this. Uh, remove the hose. Hose. Back. And no, this is doesn't really count as parts on since you could perfectly transform it. This on, but to but it's better. To remove it so not to worry about it getting in the way. So here. So basically what you want to do is come here. The arms. And tab them. So then you can the arms. Hinge them down like 
both of them like this. And I want to bring them up to get them out of the way. Here, what you want to do is bring this whole section upwards. And now it's just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to just raise the camera already. Okay, so once you have it like this, then you just want to bring up his head. And here, the tab, the feet, we're going to type the legs. And here, tab that up, bring up the whole chest panel. So, this will just tab all in. And then, after that, here, bring the legs like that out and then then you just bring down the feet and this is where it's different from the core class version because you want to extend wheel up rotate it push them down same push down there have the legs all done now for the arms you just tap them rotate them and said this part is different what you want to do is come in here, so I'm going to flip down this tread, flip out his hand, and close it back up. And there I have an arm, all done. Same to the opposite side, tab, rotate, come on out, I'm going to tread out, flip out his hand, and close it back up. Then, I have shock waves, but now for this, so what you want to do here is you want to bring them down, bring it up on this hinge and I want to bring it down on this on this hinge so keep on doing that to have it like this then you come in here take this peg put this peg bring it up then this tab right there going to slot right there so Oh, but you want to bring in his hand for it, so. Hand. Tab that in. Then you can come back here. Up, oh, and this will peg back in here. I can do it the mode. Then, there we have Shockwave. And it is Robot Mode. All right, so let's take a close look at the head sculpt. Close it up. Let's see, a very nice head sculpt. Let's see the yellow eye, the purple, the gray antennas. Down, very nice translucent purple. The chest, purple. Let's see with the dry brushing effect. Down. Very nice, nice details from the arms, legs, inside of the arms, and he does have an Autobot insignia, which is accurate to the CGI render, it is actually ac accurate, like if I find a picture I will actually put it up on the right side of the screen, so I'll put it up right over there. So you guys can see. Yeah. And on the opposite side, nice dry brushing effect. The cannon. Yeah, very nice. The back, very clean. Yeah. So for articulation wise, this head can do a full 360. It can look down that far. You can't really you can only look up basically that far. Nothing. His arms can do a full 360. They can go out on a nice ratchet joint. Doesn't have a rotation, but it's due to how the transformation works, but it does. Does have a bend with the elbow. It's like almost like a little bit less than 90. Does have a rotation here. His hands. Can rotate. Does have a waist swivel. Sometimes his legs move up that far. They can go back that far. They can go out. Very good. Rotation. And there's rotation up there, but there's also a rotation down here. 
does have bend at the knee, 90 degree bend at the knee. His leg, his foot can go down, can go up, and he does have a little bit of ankle pivot. I wish he had more, but yeah. Yeah, so, ticklish wise, it's good. I just do wish he had ankle pivot, had more of an ankle pivot. Oh yeah. So for size comparisons, camera real quick. Oh, for size comparisons, here he is. And here he is next to my previous review. There you can see the you know, Optimus Prime of the animated universe. There he is next to Soundwave from the Bumblebee movie. There he is next to Starstream from the Bumblebee movie. There he is next to Megatron. And last but not least, here is actually the core class version. And as you can see, what just like the same exact thing besides the cannon is different. But besides that, like it basically exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so I guess last thing to talk about is the included display face. I'll set it. Turn off to the side. There it is, it's yeah, nice. Five stops, the Cybertron, and this here. Let's get the hose out of the way, which is quite difficult, but you could just push off quick. You know, it should, you know, the hose get in the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Talk about. So, now let's get back down to transformation. So, like I said, basically the same thing as core class. Yeah. So let's begin. So first thing I want to do is come here, tap this, and with the hose. Remember, like I said, perfectly transforming with the hose attached. But for make it easier, I like to remove it. I'm gonna put it off to the side. Okay. So do this. Come here. Open up this panel. Open the hand. Close back up. Then you want to rotate in, so you want to pick it up until it just clicks into place. Up oh, and just and tap it into place. Then after that, what you want to do next, I like to just raise up the arms, come out of the way. So now we're going to work on the legs. So for legs, do, legs out, bring up, tread, rotate it, push it back in, feet, and bring them back. Same, up. Rotate, down, bring up the foot. Now, next thing I want to do, bring up the leg, then bring this part down. Bring the leg down, like that. Up, and just bring it down. Then, you come in here, do is just remove this whole chest panel, bring it down here, bring it down. This tab uh, with two purple po uh, ports right here that go into little holes on the side. And just that, I'll show you. Fill all lined up and just plug it in. Then you can just come here, this purple panel, bring it in all the way. Have it like this. And all that should be locked in the place. Then, next thing I want to do is next bring up, or bring down this here. Just bring down the head. Just go right there. Then, what you want to do next, I want to just bring back the arm, rotate it, zoom. This post will go into that port. So, just tap that in. Same. And I have basically that. 
there, come here, take the gun. Just want to extend it out. I'm going to need here. Just peg. Peg. Bring it down. Then this will just go right in there. Like so. Then if you did attach it, if you did dis remove the whole thing, and just want to bring it back here, and it'll go into the same port. So, just do that. Then they have shockwave back in his tank, back in his tank mode. Okay, so final thoughts on the series where to cross shockwave. He's a good figure. I do really enjoy him. Yeah. Yeah, so so much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to transform and roll out.